What's up guys? Got some content, um, pretty low for content, but it's an unboxing because I got some stuff from the cubicle. Um, I already opened it so I wouldn't like, you know, like uh, spend so much time that I have to edit it out. Um, I got some, some stuff from the cubicle. I will not say how I obtained these items, but they were obtained. Okay, receipts over there. In this package we have the Gan I Carry. As well as, just wait, just wait for it, the Diane Megaminx. Alright, now the reason why I have these items, or why I got these specific items was because, oh and also I have a Mystic Loom. Came free because I bought these two things. The reason why I have this, or why I got this specifically is because, honestly, Megaminx is kind of alright and I want to low-key get into it more. And then this because I wanted a smart cube. Cool. All right, Mystic Lube. Nice. Don't need to talk about that. Um, let's get into the Megaminx first. Because I... Actually, no. Let's get into the Gan thing first. Because... Uh... All right. Got the Gan packaging. We have a, I literally don't know what this is. Okay. We have, I assume some electronic stuff in here. Uh, oh, we have the GAN. Wow, okay. Nice. Are these GS nuts? What the hell? Springs? Jeez, dude. How is this 30 bucks? This is GAN. Pamphlet, don't care. Uh, this is messy. I'll just put this over here. I'll just do this like... Yeah, okay. We have stuff, cool, stuff. All right, let's get into the actual cube. I bet this is so frustrating to watch. I'm so sorry. All right. Nice. It turns oh my god this like doesn't feel like a gang cube yeah no this this doesn't feel like a gang cube it's so hollow oh it's lighting up uh i do not know how this works is it corner cut uh kind of it's all right Hmm. It's okay. Uh, I don't know how to work this thing. I don't know what the lights mean. Uh. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it, it's it's neat. I'll figure it out later. Uh, it's not really the main point of this unboxing. I kind of wanted to show the Dying Megamins more. So let's get right into that. Okay, so we have the Dying Megaminx, and there is tape here. So what that means is that I'm going to need the knife to get off this tape. Just looking for the knife. Should be here. All right, here it is. All right, let's do this. Nice. All right. It seems small. Oh, I, I assume I just... Yep. Alright. Okay, here's the Diane Megaminx. Um, the shades are alright, I guess. Alright, let's do some first turns. Whoa! What the hell? Dude. That is so unbelievably fast. What the heck? People, oh, what? Okay, I'm just so surprised at how good this is. What the hell? I don't know how to properly finger trick on Mega Mace. Wow, this is this is amazing, dude. Cause I'm comparing it to my Shangsha Aurora, 
which is like not horrible. Like it's definitely good, but I feel like I would just lock up so much more on this one. This feels, this feels crazy good. Damn. It just, yeah, let's check the corner cutting. Oh, dude. I didn't know the Mega Mix could cut like that. What? Bro, that's insane. What's, what's the reverse like? Oh, no, it's a bit much, but I mean, still for reverse? Like, that's crazy. Bro, does this cut like that? No. Not even here, bro. And it doesn't even reverse cut. Let's see. Yeah, bro, it doesn't even reverse cut from here. And this one? Reverse cuts from here, cuts from there. That's insane. Wow. Um. Okay, let's probably talk about the feeling now. Um. So it feels like kind of papery. Like it, it, it feels papery. Like it's very, very light. Like, bro, this thing's like twice as heavy as this one. It's super light and it feels like papery and really smooth. The magnets are because the magnets I feel like are not that strong, like objectively speaking, but because it's so light, like this thing is just so light, the magnets feel so strong. It's just so swift to turn. Like because it just just turns so nicely, the magnets feel really strong and it feels very clicky. Which I, I kinda like, actually. I, I, I'm a fan of clicking magnets. So I definitely do like this. I remember hearing some people that like, that the grip on this is kinda bad. Or maybe not bad, but like not great. Uh, I mean, I'm not a good Mega Minx solver, but um, I definitely think it's all right. At least for my purposes, it's definitely fine. Um, yeah, this is really, really nice. Honestly, I would not be surprised if this is absolutely the best in the market. Like, this is really, really nice. Um, yeah, so I don't have much to say, it's just that, um, I don't know Mega, Mega Minx, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna scramble this up. Oh my god. Yeah, this is, this is crazy, dude. I'm just so surprised at how good this is, like, I just didn't expect Mega Minx to be this good. I'm even just so depressed from square one hardware always being garbage that I just didn't think any anything that's not a cubic puzzle could be good. Wow, this is insane. I'm just freaking out right now. All right. Whoa, actually. I'm not gonna do a solve on cam because it's gonna take like two minutes, but yeah, it's it's really nice. So thoughts, uh, this is this is insane. Good corner cutting, feels really nice. Clicking magnets, very light and papery feeling. But overall, it's still really, really nice. Uh, super high quality. Yeah, honestly, if you like Mega Minx, I'd say get this one. It's good. I know I tried the Yuhu, but this is really nice. And I've heard people that it's nice. And I mean, I'm feeling it's really nice. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, low quality unboxing. But I'm just putting content out because why not? So, yep. Thanks for watching. See you guys.